In performing of beat songs, para sa akin, maraming factors that come into play. Uh, pero, off the top of my head, for me, the most important thing is keeping time. One of the most important tips that I shared with them in performing an upbeat song is time. Uh, timing, tempo, stick to it, or basta kilalanin nila yung tempo ng song. Awkward pakinggan pagka magulo yung timing mo sa isang upbeat song. I shared to you something about time. Sige, for, for the exercise na lang, let's try to be all on time. So, everyone please stand. Okay. Now, let's try to sing the chorus of Dynamite as on time with each other. One, two, three, and... Oh, one minute. Ayun pa, ilo pala isa. More, uh, another thing sa time, tune. <laughs> Kanina, when I, when I tried to have them sing the, the chorus of the song, medyo ano pa eh, medyo kanya-kanya pa eh. From where I stand, which is the studio, um, I'm not in any way a performance coach. So, in the perspective of a, of a guy who's like working in the studio for like eight hours a day for the last 10 years, yung masashare ko sa inyo is, it's important to uh, always feel your song. No matter how good you are, kung hindi mo nararamdaman yung song, it's not going to translate into the record. Pag kinantayan, parang, alam nyo yung parang pag pinakinggan, patunog kinanta lang, get more experience and commit more mistakes. In the perspective of a studio guy, yun na lang siguro, for your performance, be on time. And then, feel your song, and then, capitalize on your strengths, know your weaknesses then. Now, so now we know that C13 uh, could not sing that high. You can be uh, what you're strong at, which is rapping. Or you and Obai could do a verse together. Kung may mga tumatak sa akin, definitely tumatak sa akin si Hans. He's only 15, but his tone is very rich. His tone is low. It's so I'm excited to see uh, how they would all blend together and come up with a fantastic number.